we in this thing? Is the melanin on? Are we good? Yes, we are. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope that you are doing fabulous, darling. I am doing amazing. Merry Christmas to you. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. And um, if you put up New Year, New Me, New This, New That on Instagram, Facebook, and all the social medias, <sighs> I'm going to give you a pass for the 80th year in a row. That's my only thing. So this year, I'm going to be accountable to myself and others. If you would like to be a part of this accountability group to get shit done, um, just go ahead and put it down below in the comment. Put, sign me up. I, I don't know what you're signing up for, but um, just hold others accountable. You know what I'm saying? But for real, if you would like to do that type of thing, put it down below. You, you Everybody needs accountability, buddies, partners, watchdog, bow wow, especially if you want to get stuff done. Yes, your girl cut her hair. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving y'all circle. Uh, 2012 way way back when I first started on YouTube I cut my hair it was time so I said yeah girl go ahead and cut it she was trimming the ends and I said no boo I said cut it off so she went ahead and cut it off um, I plan to keep going but you know um, it's gonna be cold so I at least need a little something on my neck but yeah ain't, ain't nothing back there go ahead and like this video thumbs it up I really appreciate it turn on your notifications go ahead and click it so you know when I'm putting up new content I have some vlogs that I've been putting out um, vlog number 12 is out vlog number 13 and I'm gonna keep going throughout the week down below in the comment section I would love to know what is your favorite holiday candy uh for me it's the almond roca honey have to have the almond roca and the other one what is it Toblerone? is that I think that's what it's called but they have like the white cap now with the white chocolate on the oh my god it was oh my god it was so good child I've been eating like it's going out of style because you know the new fit and fab challenge drops on January 1 and I'm gonna be taking my own advice this go round you know what I'm saying um because it's um project get back snatched this is a love and hip hop NYC review I didn't know they were gonna put up a new one I was like um it, it's grandma but okay so uh yeah let's just go ahead and get on into it y'all remember we leave off at james r's video release party you know what i'm saying so um they fighting him and snoop and jockway and all of a sudden dj self i don't know what it is about dj self this season but he is being the voice of reason in all situations and he's like look this is real corny we all fighting over a female this ain't it son like we all need to just sit here and talk like grown men Let's talk. So James R figures out James R has better stuff to do than to argue about a female because I'm James R. You talking an 800th person for the 50th time in a row, I just can't do it. I, I can't do it with James R. He just is the epitome of cornball to me. Jacque was like, all right, look, Shorty was my joint. James R was like, that's good, but Shorty was coming at me. I was like, both are valid points. <laughs> Jacque was like, it's all good. I mean, you took her. It's like baggage lifted off of me. Jacque salutes James R. They all walk out. James R stays because it is his party. Um, it was just too much. James R, he was embarrassed that uh, Sophie the Body wasn't there. And Jacque was embarrassed because baby girl had a dog from another dude. <laughs> a dog from another dude. Child, I can't. <laughs> Who's this puppy's father? Like, I felt like they need to go to Maury for this. It was too much. Here comes Mariah Lynn with the money gun to show her new tits at the video release. Um, I was like, wait, so, uh, all of them stay talking about loyalty. I was loyal. Now you disloyal. I'm like, oh my God. It was... <laughs> He was like, all right, so how can I make it up? Like, how? what can I do? Eight episodes ago, you can stand her ass, and it was just too much. I can't. You think you had his shoulders? I was rolling. I was like, what? I had to rewind a couple times just to keep getting it because I was like, she is hilarious. She is on a roll. Sophia, the body. Is it the body or body? Either way, baby girl wasn't there the whole time, and this half is in the video, and he's sitting here looking for her. Even during the back and forth with Mariah Lynn, I'm sitting here like, child, she's not here. She's not gonna come. Mariah Lynn, I knew she wasn't gonna just walk away. She goes over to the ice sculpture. I said, Mariah, if you don't get your little ass from away from that ice sculpture, get away from there. The ice sculpture was big enough. She pushes the ice sculpture over, walks out and said, now you frozen, bitch. I'm like, Act actually not. I just pushed over the nice little ice sculpture. It takes time to do that type of stuff. Mariah, you can't keep doing this, ma'am. Mariah Lynn with the money guy. I can't. And Mariah, I don't get it. You just flex it. You could have done that on Instagram. Yandy and Remy are getting donations together for the the hurricane victims and they looking around like where is Jack 
fuck you. Andy thinks she's pregnant. Remy just said, shit, I don't know. Let's just pop up on her. I don't know. And I'm sitting here like, where in the hell are y'all taking all them pallets to? Y'all ain't got nobody to put this shit in the back of a truck. I was confused. Even at BJ's, you can say, excuse me, can you help me take this out to my car? They will find someone. And Anais and Rich Slobbers, they meet up with Navarro so that they can discuss what they've been doing. Humps and a bump. I'm sitting here like... How old are y'all? I can't with that Aisha. She was like, yeah, with Richard Dallas. I like his banana and he like my donut. And we be having a good breakfast. I'm like, who the hell makes that analogy? It's hilarious and I get it. But who the hell? Oh, Anais, I told y'all this before, but Navarro, every time he say something, it don't matter who he with, he look nervous. He looked like he had his hands in something, and he about to lie. And he had a point, I don't need to give y'all permission, y'all grown as hell. Like, I don't care what y'all be doing, where, when, how, and why. I don't care. Here comes Ashley. Ashley is mad for like, I, okay, I was about to say mad for no reason, but no, everybody been fine. Uh, she know she wondering what the hell's wrong. I mean, she just all over the damn place. And she sits at the table, and she goes, Goes in on Richie Dollars. Figure out why she going in on Rich Dollars. Um, one reason she think Navarro is cheating on her. Um, so I guess she need to blow off steam on Rich. I'm sitting here kind of like Rich. Like, why are you all down my throat? Like, I didn't do nothing to you, boo. Even if I am with Anais, that's none of your damn business. Boo boo cakes. Like, why are you mad? Rich said, you know what? You disrespectful. Like, I felt that like on my eyebrow. I was like, well, Rich, like, you, okay. Rich is so disgruntled, he leaves. Anais sitting there like, what's going on? What's wrong with you, Ashley? What's, what's going on? Ashley was like, well, he's a liar. He's a cheater. Navarro was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, what, huh? They go back and forth. She ends up pouring everybody's water from every table on Navarro. And he's sitting there like. <laughs> I was rolling. And he sits back down to continue to talk to Anais. And I'm sitting there like, sir, go change your shirt. I was just confused. And I'm looking at Ashley like, ma'am, why the hell did you come to the meeting? Why, I'm, uh, uh, Rich, why did you leave, sir? I understand she was jumping all on you and stuff, but you didn't even say bye, PC all upstairs. I'm, I'm done. That was a waste of segment, in my opinion. We're back with Ashley. She big mad. She uh, been looking through Navarro's phone. He been deleting messages. She wants some space. She getting the invisible bag packed. She looking through paperwork. It's just a lie. Here comes Navarro in the house. What's wrong, baby? Why you mad? I was looking through your phone and you been talking to another bitch. I was actually talking to another girl, yeah. But it was to like plan a surprise for you. I was like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She was like, so you delete messages. I'm a little confused. I was also like, yeah, that's a little confusing. Shit, send an email if you taking them to the spa. Can't you do that? I was just a little, it wasn't adding up to me. Like, I don't, mm, what kind of spa is it? Like, is it a truly independent one? They ain't got no website, no email, no nothing. I'm just confuzzled. They start going back and forth. It was blah, 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 blah. Is this how you talk to the mother of your unborn child? And it was like, whoa, what? He was like, this was a good way to tell me when we're on crazy terms. I mean, I'm happy, but what? She doesn't want to talk about it anymore. He walks out and I'm like, what the hell kind of segment was this? I told y'all, I'm sick of Navarro. I'm sick of their whole love crazy triangle. I'm sick of, I don't get it. I really don't understand them. It's a creep squad reunion. Um, We have DJ Self. We have Peter Guns. Hello. Um, And we also have Slobbles. Ooh, so we figure out there's a Gwen in Clash. Uh, Dream Doll. She's getting more shine than Mariah Lynn with the money gun. Two females, very bullheaded. Um, they're on opposite camps with their friends. It's just a mess that's going on. So even the dudes are like, you gonna have to figure that out, bro. Jonathan and Trent meet after the literal long walk that they had, um, after Trent was caught. So, uh, Jonathan was like, oh my god, like, you can't even fess up to what you did. He was like, okay, I got caught. And I'm looking at Trent like, you are so damn nonchalant. Like, you have no, he probably has emotion, but he just doesn't wear them on his sleeves. Jonathan's very expressive, where he's very stoic. I've been at work. I work every day. Jonathan had a good point, but you could be on Gronda every night. <laughs> Sidebar, ain't nobody that damn busy, okay? I'm just telling you. Ain't nobody that damn busy. They just don't want to talk to your head. I mean, they probably are doing something. But if they don't hit you up and say, hey, I'm doing something right now, I'll hit you right back. And if they don't hit you back, they don't have no communicato. Ain't nobody that damn busy. I'm just telling you. They're not. Jonathan was like, you are addicted to sex. Trim was like, uh, I used to be. I was like, oh, the plot thickening. Ooh, ooh, and this 
was the dot the dot when Trent said, you just mad that I'm getting my dick sucked and you ain't the one sucking it. I said, <coughs> I, I gagged. <laughs> Y'all get my point. I was like, <gasps> Jonathan was gagging too. Like he couldn't take it. Trent had the audacity to be giggling. Trent was like, okay, so you did some digging. Jonathan was like, yes, I did. Trent was like, well, I did some digging too. I said, the plot is going to thicken again. He was like, look, I have something for you. This is your marriage license. Jonathan was like, <laughs> Where'd you get that? I was like, oh. Y'all remember on K Michelle's show, he got engaged, but we never heard nothing about that. But Jonathan said that they did get married like two years ago, but the dude is in LA, but they figured it wasn't working, but they haven't gotten a what? My divorce. <gasps> Trip was like, I'll go tell Jonas that you want a divorce. Don't tell me. I was like, ah. They were holding both of them back because Jonathan kept jumping. Jonathan picked up a chair child. I said, my God. Trent kept digging. Trent was like, so you want to make a boy band out of me and your exes? Like, this ain't gonna work. I was like, <laughs> I was rolling. It was, oh my God. That was good. Oh my God. Jonathan was like, it's not easy to get a divorce. We're not together. Like, you can see the veins coming out of, popping out of his head. I'm trying to get a divorce. I was like, why are you hollering at this boy? He clearly don't want to be with you. Like, why are you explaining this to him? And also, why you ain't get that divorce yet? And why you ain't telling him you was married? Trent ended up leaving child. Jonathan sitting there looking silly. Huh? Too much. Speaking of people looking silly, James R. He in the park. He feeling kind of, you know, disrespected. Sophia the Body didn't show up to the video release. And it was all about her. Sophia the Body, she comes through. She sits down. And he's like, yo, no call, no text. You didn't come through. What's up with that? She was like, I didn't feel like it was necessary. Like, it was very nonchalant. Da -da -da. He was like, what? I mean, how does it, how do you feel like it was, like, he couldn't even get his words together. And she was sitting there like, I'm sure you have plenty company like I didn't have to be there I understand why she didn't go it looked like it was gonna be a setup and it was a setup he was like I was putting you up there like on a pedestal to be like the queen of James R I feel real disrespected I was really vulnerable at the time and I didn't want to be sending you no mixed uh, signals and you know you getting the wrong impression he's sitting there like you played me that's what you did and I was like you know what that's kind of true she, <laughs> she did I mean you just kissing him licking all in his mouth if you licking all in somebody's mouth that's a big difference than hugging him around the neck and saying thank you for the puppet. Okay? I understand you were vulnerable, but baby, don't be putting your tongue in random mouths no more if you don't want them to get the wrong impression. But at the same time, James R., um, you knew what you was doing when you got that girl, that dog. Very, very messy. But James R., since he was feeling the type of way, he told baby girl what Jacque said at the video release party. And she felt a type of way. She was like, and hey, you didn't stand up for me? Like, there we go. Exactly. This is why we're not gonna pursue anything. She walked off. He was frustrated. I don't know if he threw the drink at her or on the table. I guess a couple droplets got on her back. So she ended up throwing the drink back. I was like, what in the hell? Mariah Lynn goes to meet with self. Um, She's feeling like, you know what? She's not getting the support that she wants. She feel as though she not moving like she wanna move. And I feel like Gwyneth just don't support me. He was like, look, baby girl, you need to just hustle more. If you want more, you gotta hustle. She was like, but I've been loyal. And I'm sitting here like, baby girl, in any type of business, your loyalty doesn't matter. Are you securing the bag? Are you bringing the literal bag so the money can get in there? The views, etc., etc. It doesn't matter. In these days and times, child, it doesn't matter if you're loyal. It's about what do you bring to the table. That's in any aspect of life. Yes, loyalty matters. But what's after that? If you're on your job and you just sitting on your ass and you done been there for 8 million years, yes, you have the seniority, whatever. But if somebody new, fresh and ready and they hungry, they can come in and take your spot. Okay, so you can never get too complacent thinking, oh yeah, I've been here for so and so years or my loyalty is to the group or I've shown them I'm this and that. No, boo. And self brought up a very good point. Baby, you can't wait for the invite, sweetie. You gotta take that bitch by the reins and do it your damn self. Ain't nobody inviting you to the event. Have your own damn event. She was like, I mean, what if I wanted to go to the BET Awards? Oh, they showed a picture, vh one they shit. They showed a picture of Dream Doll and self at the BET Awards and self was like, hey, Dream Doll was like, I'll even fly myself out if I could be there. And she did. So that, well, shit, I don't know what she did to get to the BT Awards. But either way, her ass was there, sitting in the seat. Ryan Lynn was still like, I need you to do your part. And he's sitting there looking at her like, boo. 
and I was even looking at her too like what are you gonna do again I agreed with self um the only person holding Mariah Lynn back is Mariah Lynn Mariah Lynn she gonna learn excuses don't make no money boo boo the girls go to see Juju Juju light candles and shit I thought she was about to have a seance she tells them that her and Cam broke up I was like nah B what and they were like oh my god why you didn't tell us and she was like you know what i just shut down i didn't want to talk to nobody i didn't want to burden y'all you know uh parentheses he in jail for a trillion years remy you and pap trying to show boing boing i just didn't want to burden y'all oh 10 years that's a that's damn that was common law marriage right there but in order to move forward, she's really just going to have to let that marinate for a little bit. Because that's a long time. But Remy, I'm so glad she told her, baby girl, you were with him for 10 years. But that don't mean you can't be with somebody else for 10 years plus. Like, you're not damaged good. You're still a strong, amazing woman. Just keep moving forward, boo-boo. Strict! Safari and Dream Doll are now collaborating. I'm like, okay, I feel like it's gonna be a little trouble in paradise for them. I don't know why. Something messy is gonna happen. Oh, strict. Self comes through and Bree is already there. Self and Dream Doll talk and he ends up telling her that, you know, he wants her to talk to Mariah on a like sister Gwenin level, just to smooth it out and let her know that everything's gonna be okay. First of all, sir, what the hell type of request is that? Oh, Safari comes back through and self his messy ass. He was like, you know what? I thought that you were gonna work with Mariah Lynn. Dream Doll is pissed. She was like, uh, who the hell? When was that gonna happen? Safari was like, strict. Oh my God, it's a telenovela. Strict is knocking or throwing a rock or something at Jonathan's window with a rose. Jonathan comes out and he's like, what are you doing? Let's come down, I wanna talk to you. Jonathan was like, give me a few minutes, I'm getting ready for work. So they start talking. Trent was like, you should have told me you were married. What was I supposed to do? I thought we were on the same page. Trent was like, I didn't know you wanted to be like exclusive, like for real, for real, exclusive day 26. Trent, you know good and damn well Jonathan wanted to be exclusive. Like, <laughs> what else did Jonathan have to do? Put a in the sky and also with Jonathan when it came down to Trent um he was giving you all the signs that he did not want to be in a relationship like honestly he could never give you a secure answer he was never there when you needed him there he didn't want to be exclusive and then he had the audacity to tell you you don't like it that I'm fucking around then don't be with me and I was like okay sir that was the clear indication to get your ass out of it Jonathan was like you know what this is where we are done like we're it's just a wrap I don't see us moving forward I don't see nothing and they hug it out and give each other the peace side and I thought that was good I mean they at least had a last talk and they walked away because I don't know um Jonathan can't give him what he wants and Trent really can't give Jonathan what he wants so it's best that they just go their separate ways it's just it's not healthy oh lord speaking of stuff that isn't healthy Mariah Lynn with the money gun and Dream Doll meet up to um I uh, no they weren't meeting up to talk during this uh Mortal Kombat with Mariah Lynn and Dream Doll I have to say I was going with Dream Doll a lot on this one because she came out running with the mind your business don't mess with the coin I was like ding ding I'm sitting here looking at Mariah Lynn like are we talking about Gwen or are we talking about Brie and Bianca huh okay this is what I was looking at dream doll like ah. self really wanted me to come over here and talk to you because I mean your career is a flop and oh my god they go back and forth well you a bum ass bitch no you a bum ass bitch <laughs> I was dying with dream doll you don't get booked you overlooked I was like I was rolling. That shit was funny. Oh! <laughs> when Mariah Lynn said, your pussy go flop from all that dick you take in, I was deceased. <laughs> Put a tag on my pinky toe. But when Dream Doll said, your mother, I about died. I said, no! And the picnic table wasn't ready either because Mariah Lynn almost Peter Pan that bitch. She jumped on security's back like a little eagle with her talons. I was like, ah! I think I um, be kind rewinded that about 10 times just to see the flying motion. I was like, that girl do gymnastics. That girl defies gravity. You know, Mariah, if all else fails, you should be a stunt double. Even the security guards were like, what the hell? What the hell? I don't know. I mean, the way they just carried dreamed all over was like a baby like you're a bum ass bitch like it was hilarious oh my god I was tired looking at it but that is how the episode ended I would love to know what did you guys think of this episode what were you thinking with all of these battles back and forth I saw the beginning of Love and Hip Hop Miami I wasn't that impressed 
impressed. We'll see how it is on Monday. Get your comments in down below. I will be bringing back the comments in the new year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye.